Hey, what's up everyone? DJ Chris here today with a brand new video. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own Rust server. So f this is a folder you guys are going to see in the description. You'll need WinRAR to open it. So there'll be a down uh, link for WinRAR in the description. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need is a Steam CMD. We're going to copy that from the folder. We're going to go into our C drive. Uh, our C drive and go and right click let me delete this here right click and create a new folder you want to right click here go new folder create new folder call it steam CMD so it'll make a folder called steam CMD double click on it paste the steam CMD exe inside the folder that's named steam CMD now with this tutorial I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible I did most of the hard work for you guys so first thing you're going to want to do is double click on Steam CMD. It'll open up. It'll do its thing. It'll start extracting files. It'll basically do everything for you. So that's the best thing about this is this one will download it all for you. Since the last tutorial I did with a game called Unturned, a lot of people were saying it's a little too complicated. It's hard to do. Well, this will hopefully minimize the complexity of everything that you guys will have to do. So I'm going to let it do its thing, start downloading, extracting files, and we're just going to sit here and wait. So I'm probably just going to cut this part out and we're going to jump back into it. And a moment here, it's launching, Steam, redirecting, checking, verifying installation, and it looks like everything is going good hopefully yep it's done okay so everything's added if you close it that's fine just type quit if you want I I tend to just close it if you close it it'll come up with that little air thing but that's pointless it's no need so this is the only time you're ever gonna go into this this is the only time you're ever gonna go into your steam CMD at the moment that has anything to do with the rust server so as you see there's a folder here called rust server we're gonna delete that folder then what we're going to do is since I've set it up a start dot bat, not the underscore start example dot bat, a start dot bat, right click it, edit. What this is going to do is once you run it, it's going to target the steam CMD in your folder called steam CMD dot and then there's your folder called steam CMD. It's going to target the steam CMD dot exe. It's going to bring a login and it's going to input anonymous, which makes it so you do not have to put in any username or password. It'll then force install a force install directory, which will set a directory called rust server, which will make a folder in your C drive called rust server. And it'll add the rust into it, the server into it. So all you need to do is double click this, run it anywhere you want. You don't need to put it in the folder. It'll just run it and place it where it needs to be. Now this part is a little bit longer, so I'm probably going to pause the video here. And we're going to get back after this part is over. It all depends on your internet speed. So if your internet speed is really quick, then this process will go by really fast. If not, this process may take up to at least 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your internet speed. So please be patient, be calm, and just take the time to at least let it do its thing don't rush it anything just let it do its thing when it's done there's like three or four more steps and then you're completely set so I'll get back to you guys when it's done downloading okay so it is completely done I apologize guys my mouse cursor wasn't on screen it's set up now so it'll make a folder called rust server right here you want to open that that's where everything is that's where all your stuff is but as you can see it's kind of bare so I've developed the start that you'll need to run the server now we're gonna look into that I accidentally clicked on something so it might take a minute to pop up whatever I clicked on I don't know what I clicked on but something's gonna pop up um, but as you guys can see right click and edit with notepad and I'm using notepad because other people were getting confused with the editing programs I was using so in this tutorial it's strictly gonna be notepad and maybe some notepad plus plus links are in the description for notepad plus plus so um, what this essentially does is it's gonna start the rust.exe you want it to it'll do everything that was set up in the previous um, tutorial if you guys watched or if you guys know how to set up uh, basically set up um, uh, unturned server it'll basically do all that that stupid stuff that you had to do with an unturned server for you with the whole no graphics start IP I strictly recommend leaving this zero 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 I uh, honestly personally on my server that I run for my community uh, I've left it at zero 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 this is basically a replica of it just the passwords and all the security information has been changed 
and server names and stuff like that so now leave that there now these are the ports um archon password is one two three four five five you could change that to anything you want something you'll remember because in this tutorial there's going to be something pretty cool that is going to be added and i'm sure you guys are going to see it in the description it's an admin tool that you can control your server with which is very useful so password at one i'm just going to name it password at one now we'll name it password one two three Okay, password one two three. It's not hard. This is just so you can gain access to the admin stuff uh, from uh, the admin tools and such. Now, server max players default. I think it's set to ten on other config folders or start up at. I recommend fifty if your computer can handle it. I mean, twenty five is also good too if you're just playing with a f bunch of friends or whatever or with your your subscribers or anything so server host name now this is the name that's gonna show up be careful because some characters will not display so in this case I made it simplistic I just named it PSN DJ Chris YouTube server and left it at that now server identity now this is where people get confused and don't know what's going on with this you think it's the identity the name of it but no it's actually a folder that'll go in a server folder and you want to name it whatever you want to name it is in like you name it whatever you want for this case I'm gonna name it YouTube server one uh, you don't have to put a number in there but this is just a tutorial so put in anything you want just don't put in any characters it's creating a folder and then uh, name your map here procedural map I usually leave it on procedural map you can find other maps on uh, online if you want to add them in there I think there's boring or something like that or some other maps but I leave it at that uh, map seed you can look up map seeds online I recommend leaving it at one two three four five it's just a default uh, seed now server size now I'm gonna bring this down to four thousand because I know my computer is gonna run heavy if I leave it at six hundred thousand I don't know if it really affects much but I'm just gonna leave it knocked down a bit um, save intervals this is how much uh, how long it takes for the server to say or how long you want to wait for the server to save files so let's say in 300 seconds from when you started the server it will save it and then 300 seconds after that it will save progress and everything like that global chat chat true I recommend leaving that true because it'll let you chat with everybody in the server um, server description now this is where I put a description here now slash n and not this slash that slash this one right here that slash and then n that means a new line so what you guys are gonna see and I'll show you guys is gonna be server de uh, developed by PSN DJ Chris and then a line under that's gonna say subscribe like and comment and then under that line there's gonna be two breaks and then it's gonna say line here server line here image now these I believe um the image size will be in the description I will add that as well just to give you guys more in-depth information on that and this is just my steam server group so you guys can put any URL in there for your server URL so now let's skip this part and get to the juicy stuff so this is what makes it so simple copy that that the um, the underscore server dash example dot bat put it inside your rust server folder and then double click it and then it'll start saying starting server and if all goes well the server will start up momentarily okay sorry guys okay so we started up the rust examples uh, dot bat thing as you guys can see it said starting server then it went to set a um, generate terrain size and it says motion vectors not supported with the platform does not support rendering motion whatever whatever so it's telling you that it doesn't support that at the moment it switched to camera source this is all just regular stuff that appears it's starting your archon on port 28016 now the archon port is always going to be 28016 do not change that leave your server port at 28015 if you can't change it to 28016 for your default port and change the archon to 28017 but I mean that's only if you have multiple servers running on the same service or same PC or whatever so this is gonna take a while I'll get back to you guys when everything is done okay so as you guys can see the server is now up and running you'll be able to tell this by at the bottom it'll tell you how many frames per second that are maxed out on your server and how many people are on your server you have zero sleepers on the server and zero people in the server so I'm gonna load up my fraps we're gonna load in and I'm gonna show you guys your very own server that we've set up so now what you'll want to do is you'll want to jump up on your server 
go to Rust, click play. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys can see my Steam name here. You guys can add me up on Steam if you guys want. Completely up to you guys. I don't care. But let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're back. We just loaded into the uh, into Rust. Now, as a disclaimer, now what I, what you guys see on my screen or graphics wise may not be what the game actually looks like. Uh, I've lowered my graphics exponentially because of the lack of um, FPS that I get in a game because my PC is so low. Um, low so my PC specs are not nowhere near as high as what you guys would suspect them to be so um, for the sake of this video uh, first thing I want to note is that um, we do have our very own server that you guys can jump into also as a side note uh, just you hit F1 the same way we're gonna connect to our server is the same way you'd connect a uh, my server would be 92.234.111.5 point five three uh, two, zero, one, five, uh, dot two eight or uh, which would be that but to connect to your server you'll type connect one two seven point zero point zero point one that's two eight zero one five and we're gonna load in I may have to pause the video uh, until I get in so I do apologize for that but my PC just cannot handle rust that well so we're connecting Good sign. I'll get back to you guys when we're done connecting. All right, guys. As you guys can see, we have loaded into our server. Wait, it might. Nope, not appearing in our history at the moment. But I can assure you that if you do F1 after you followed every step that I told you in the tutorial, 0 0.1. That's 28015. You guys will get into your own server. Now, for the next video, I'm going to show you guys, since this video is going on for a long time, I'm going to show you guys how to basically get plugins and everything like that in the next video. And then I will do a port forwarding video right after this. But I hope you guys enjoy your uh, local hosted server at the moment. Um, we're going to work on getting it to be public for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm still